At the time of filming this episode, there are questions circulating about Kim Jong-un and North Korea. Now, his whereabouts are unknown and it has opened up even more inquiry about the mystery that surrounds the entire country. Welcome back guys to another FTD Facts episode. My name is Leroy Kenton and this is a channel where we break down facts and info about our world, culture, religion, and more in top 10 lists. So let's jump into 10 surprising secrets about North Korea. Now, at number 10, we have Kim Jong-un being vulnerable. Kim Jong-un is thought to be 36 years old. Now with his obesity as well as his smoking habit, that has contributed to him being the center of rumors about having poor health for a while. But now the most recent rumors about him passing away due to a heart surgery, the news of that has spread all around the world after a South Korean publication stated that Kim Jong-un was actually in critical condition after heart surgery. But whether or not this rumor is 100% accurate, experts say that Kim Jong-un is at risk from obesity as well as cardiac health issues. Now at number nine, the country in itself is vulnerable too. So if the news is accurate that he has passed away, Kim Jong-un's death could actually mark the end to North Korea's relationship building measures as well as all of their progress that they've made diplomatically. This could actually lead to a lot of panic across the country, considering North Korea has a struggling economy because it's under sanctions, as well as they have widespread poverty, among other issues. Some worry that the country could actually collapse if their central leadership becomes too weak, and that's likely if Kim Jong-un did pass away. This could also lead to a possible conflict between North Korea and South Korea, or at least there could be some other countries that intervene in North Korea, which could escalate things on a whole other level. Another thing to know about North Korea is its military spending. There's a lot of mystery around it because it's unknown how much exactly they actually spend on their military. The money that Kim Jong-un spends on funding the Korean People's Army is believed to be a massive fortune. The North Korean army uses lasers and missiles that are banned in other countries. And notably, it does have a pretty robust and impressive cyber warfare unit. Now, it's mandatory for every North Korean over 18 to actually enlist in the army, even for women too, so they're not excluded. North Korea in their possession also has an unknown number of nuclear weapons, and North Korea also has in its possession a large number of chemical weapons. So of course, they're not putting in pennies into their military force. A lot of money is going into it. And while we're on the topic of their military, you're gonna find that there's a lot of soldiers everywhere. Their army is one of the biggest in the world, with the latest numbers showing an estimate of over 1.2 million people in active duty. Now, it's also been reported that one in every 25 North Korean citizens is actually enlisted as a soldier. Now, the largest of all the KPA branches, or the Korean People's Army branches, is actually its ground force with 1 million personnel, and they have a massive number of weapons as well as fighting vehicles. North Korea's navy is also a very large one and holds the largest number of submarines in the entire world, according to the latest estimates. Did you know that there's also a lot of education struggles in North Korea? And for good reason, like you need to work your butt off to get educated in North Korea because students in North Korea are actually required to purchase their own chairs, their own desks, and even pay for their own heating during the winter. Now on top of that, they're also made to work while at school to produce things for the government. So let's say if the parents wanted their daughter to really focus on their education and avoid any kind of labor, they actually need to bribe the school teachers or stop sending her to school altogether. And that would force her to miss the opportunity of getting educated. Kind of makes you feel like we got it easy over here in the West, United States, Canada. I'm from Canada. In the school life in the country, most subjects do the students study in the country. So we just took a look at 
five surprising secrets about North Korea. And we got five more to go. Before we get into the last five, just a reminder to leave a like on this episode if you are enjoying this video so far. As a matter of fact, if you're enjoying any FTD Facts episodes, leave a like because it lets more people see our videos. Also, if this is your first time here to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, stay a while because we post episodes daily and I don't want you to miss any of them. All right, so with that said, let's just jump into the last five. At number five, let's talk about their roads because 3% of them are actually paved. So, you know, there's not a lot of government funding going into the roads. So the roads mostly are left completely unpaved. So if you travel to North Korea, you will only see less than 3% of their roads completely finished and paved. So out of 120,538 square kilometers of roads, only about 2.83% are paved if you wanna break it down specifically like that. And according to some of the latest estimates, all the roads in North Korea, if they were actually finished, it could circle the planet Pluto. Well, it's not even a planet anymore. I think Pluto is considered a satellite now, but anyways, all the roads could circle Pluto three and a half times. There's also some corruption in North Korea that, yeah, they try to keep this secret, but it's not really much of a secret. In recent years, the country was actually named the most corrupt in the world. And this is according to the Corruption Perceptions Index. North Korea was tied with the country of Somalia with a score of eight on the index. So just to kind of explain how their rating system works. So the rating is between zero, which means it's highly corrupt, and 100, which means there's no corruption at all, or very little corruption. And of course, when you take a look at corruption, there's no country that is 100% corruption free, according to the Corruption Perceptions Index. And just pretty much common sense. There's shady stuff that happen all around the world. It's just a matter of how much shady stuff are going on behind the scenes. North Korea also has limitations for Westerners. So for all the Western citizens like myself, when it comes to visiting North Korea, you can't walk around the country by yourself. And I believe this also extends to anybody that is not North Korean, period. Don't quote me on that though. But I know it is heavily enforced, especially for those from the West. So if you visit North Korea after you visit has been approved by the government, they'll actually assign you a guide. And just letting you know though that if they say, here's your guide, you can't be like, uh-uh, no, I'm good. I'll find my way around, thank you. No, for your entire stay in the country, there's gonna be guides that are assigned to you and literally they're gonna be with you all the time. Another surprising North Korean secret is the haircuts. Apparently this is a fact, like men in North Korea are actually ordered to get a haircut and there's a specific style that you gotta get like they're also told to really model their haircut after Kim Jong-un and women they're not exempt they actually have to keep their hair at a certain length and they can only choose from a selection of 14 approved hairstyles women who are married they need to wear their hair a little bit shorter and single women they're allowed to wear their hair a little bit longer and curlier and the final surprising secret that I want to share in this episode about North Korea is that leaving the country is actually very expensive. It'll cost you about $8,000 to leave North Korea. And it isn't easy to leave the country because you're gonna be punished if you're actually caught trying to escape. There is, however, a way to leave if you somehow manage to come up with $8,000. Now that will only get you to China pretty much though. And very few North Koreans are able to afford that and make that happen. And all the North Koreans who managed to make it to China are actually not all granted refugee status because of their rocky relationship with North Korea. China views these defectors as illegal economic migrants. And you see a lot of what we know about North Korea and how it operates comes a lot from the people known as defectors or people who end up leaving the country. They're able to provide a lot of valuable information about North Korea. But regardless of what they say, a lot of it still cannot be 100% verified. Either way, there's still so much secrecy and mystery surrounding North Korea that literally it's almost like its own planet. So guys, let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Join in on the conversation. What do you think is going on with Kim Jong-un? And also, what are your thoughts in general about North Korea? 
And now if you're watching this episode after the world has found out what exactly happened to Kim Jong-un, leave some other comments, whatever you want to type down there. My social media links are below in the video description section so you can follow me over there. And I'm going to leave you with a recommended episode that's going to be at the end screen. So I'm going to get out of here so you can check that one out. Until next time, guys, it's always awesome hanging out with you here on FTD Facts. I'll see you in the next episode.